So this is specifically called Painted Canyon, right? Uh, yes. So this is Painted Canyon. This is our first national park. It's the theater. It's in the theater Roosevelt National Park. And I think they also call it the Badlands. And the Badlands, which I'm confused though because the Badlands are also down in South Dakota. So is it just all the Badlands? Because isn't that the Badlands too down there? I don't know. I don't know. We're confused. We'll have This is, I'm glad we came here. We almost didn't come here. And this is like, I would have been mad if we missed this. Yeah. We're about to go try to find some prairie dogs. <laughs> I'm really excited. I'm so excited to cry. I'm like, tears just sprang to my eyes thinking about it. I just, they're going to be so cute. I'm excited. We see some dogs. I think we'll see them. She said that they're really active, so. Oh. All this sediment so she was saying all this sediment on like these rocks and that's how that's what makes it yeah. look the way it is because it's like all this erosion and you stuff slides yeah and moves. so I guess that's why the roads like this yeah. excited to see some prairie dogs These are the prairie dogs. They are so cute. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Stop. <gasps> oh my god. Look at that one perched up way back there. Oh my god. I am dead. Oh my god. Look at that one. They're like little squirrels. But like also kind of like dogs. God, it's so cute. Oh my god. So like look at all these holes. It literally is like whack-a-mole. I mean, that was mainly, to be honest, that satisfied me completely. I'm so happy that we saw those, these prairie dogs. They're so cute. <laughs> Do it again, little guy. Oh, there's also bison poop right there. Oh my God, I want him. Oh my God, look at them run. Oh my God, I think I got it. Oh my God, I got it on camera. What? <laughs> them popping up like that. Oh my god, look at the moon. <gasps> oh my god, I think I got it. Oh. This guy. I think he's pretending. Or thinking that I don't see him, but I see him. Oh my god. <laughs> look at the babies. What is it? Okay, oh my god, look at this family. There's a car coming. <gasps> but they're, oh, they were kissing. <laughs> <laughs> they're so cute. We just, we just saw two that were like back to back. They were hugging. And I saw, I saw one literally roll and fall over onto another one. It was so cute. I can't. This is the best thing ever. So they're supposed to be feral horses, 
And I don't know if this is in the park, so I'm not sure if those are the horses that they're talking about, but there's some horses. They might be the feral horses. Yeah, that'd be great for now. Um, so, we just spent the night in a haunted hotel, and it was an experience. I'm terrified. I can't believe that I actually slept at all, but we did drive 12 hours yesterday, and so I'm exhausted. But let me explain what happened, because it's, it's kind of crazy. Like, actually, like, I don't believe in ghosts, and I think I do now. I cried last night um, because I was so scared. Um, so yeah, this is this is it. We're staying in the Hotel Alex Johnson. Is that what it's called? The like Curio Collection by the Hilton? Yeah. I'm not really sure, but I'll like take a video of the outside too. And um, it's in Rapid City. South, South Dakota. Dakota. I think I was saying North Dakota earlier. I meant South Dakota. Um, it's like right near Re where Mount Rushmore is because that's what we're going to do today. And so basically last night we get in and we're looking for parking and we're like, what should, we? like my mom went in to check in and I'm like just sitting in the car and I start looking up like where parking is and I look on their website or like I look at reviews and they're like, this hotel is haunted. And I was like, this hotel like I don't even remember booking this hotel my mom doesn't remember booking this hotel I don't remember ever seeing anything about ghosts I don't like I like I don't believe in ghosts but I don't like want to put myself in a situation where there might be ghosts so <coughs> so basically I'm kind of like okay that's scary and then it was like room 812 or like it said don't stay on the eighth floor that's the haunted part and we're like so when my when I got back when my mom got the keys and we we're going to park and put, like bring our stuff up to the room I was like okay what floor are we on and she's like seventh and I was like okay well as long as it's not the eighth floor we're good we get in the elevator we go up to the seventh floor our room is like in a weird caddy corner area like it was like around a curve like we didn't know where it was and it was kind of hidden the hallway. in the, yeah there's like a whole hallway it's like a I'll do like a whole little room tour in a second but so we're we get in and then I like look more at the haunted stuff because like oh it's not it doesn't affect us it's not on this floor I don't know why I did that I wish you know ignorance is bliss people because if this stuff had happened and I didn't know it was haunted and I didn't know <laughs> that it was the situation then um it wouldn't have been a big deal you know I would have been like oh it's just coincidence Mm, I don't know if it's coincidence anymore. So I'm, I'm kind, kind of still skeptical, but I don't know. Ugh, I don't know. So, all that being said, we're in room 712. The room that's haunted and, like, a lady got murdered or killed herself or something is the room above us. It's 812. And that makes... I, when I saw that, I was like... Um, so that's like right above us and then all this stuff started happening so I was in the bathroom the door I was like using the bathroom and it's like really tiny I'll show you and the door opened it slammed against my knee and I was like what the heck mom <laughs> and I was like I'm in here and I like opened like I'm finished and like I opened the door and I was like mom like why did you do that and she was like over by the window like messing with the curtains like trying to get the blackout curtains to go down and she was like, what do you mean? And I was like, did you not just open the door? And she was like, no. So <laughs> that was the, like, it was like a hard hit. Like it wasn't just like, a, oh, it popped open. No, it like slammed against my knee. And this, I mean, the door is kind of janky, but like if you close it, it sticks like to the point where you have to like pull it. Oh, it's a whole thing. And then my mom was like messing with the curtains and a whole like piece of the the ball. I don't know what that means. A whole thing fell 
it felt like it just felt like it could have hurt you and that was crazy and then I was like okay it's fine like I, I went to bed um, my mom passed out but I was kind of like scared so I like had to put in headphones and put in like rain sound and like sleep noise um, but I finally went to sleep I didn't sleep super well because I feel like I woke up at one point and I was like scared and like there had been like a loud noise and so I think that's when so I have my moisturizer and this and it was in my little bag and it was sitting like right here on the counter and my mom woke up this morning and that was literally sitting in the middle of the floor in the middle like right in the middle right so and like there's no like I put it in the bag like and I guess maybe I woke up when that happened because I remember hearing noise and being kind of scared I was like what what was that but I didn't like I was like it was in the middle of me sleeping so like I guess I didn't bother me that much but um yeah so that's that's the rundown I'm gonna do a little room tour now just to show like what all happened or like where don't stay in this room unless you want to like be like mess with it, messing with ghosts. Okay, so this is the door. You walk in. I know where you like open the door, but like where is it? You walk in. The bathroom. My shoes. And this is the room. Okay, so this is the bathroom. It's kind of small. Like the toilet is like right there and small. And so like this is an old door. And. So like if you're sitting here like the door is like right there and like so like it does do this if you don't close it but I have closed it like this and so it like it literally popped open and like if you look like me trying to if you close it it doesn't really open like that's what's that's why I'm like I don't know because like it was closed and then over here this is not supposed to be here this is this could have hurt you. Uh -oh. This is like heavy, it's supposed to be like up there. <clears throat> and they're supposedly like with the, um, with the with the ghost or whatever, apparently she opens windows and like messes with windows. So like, <laughs> <clears throat> so that's the thing. And so then this, my mom literally was like, she found it like this morning like that. Just like in the, like in the middle. <laughs> I don't know about this, you guys. <laughs> I forgot to mention that there is a legitimate Ghost Hunters episode about this hotel. And I was too scared to like look it up or like watch it, but I mean after we leave I'm gonna look it up. Alright. And go. watch it tonight or something, but like, oh, yeah. this is, it's a lot. Alright. Oh, okay, every time. Every single time. Just hold on for a second. Oh, that's a great angle. What are they doing? I don't know. Another great angle. I don't oh think goodness. he can drive. So, yeah, we're turning in right on Kansas City Street, which is not this one, but the next one. So, when we were checking out, my mom went to go grab the car and I was checking out. I'm just gonna set this up here because I'm. I'm, uh, what am I doing? Okay. Okay. So, when I was checking out, I told the front desk, because, like, you, they, that's what you do. You kind of, like, it's supposed to be a haunted hotel. They have a Ghost Hunters episode, right? You tell the front desk if something happens. And we talked to a man in the elevator, and we were like, he worked there, and he's like, how are you enjoying your stay, blah, blah, blah. And we're like, uh, the ghosts, um, it's scary. And he was like, oh, yeah, and he was, like, talking all about it and saying how, oh, no. He said how... He told like the whole story where he said like the lady, it was like 1870 and she was like coming into a big inheritance or something or like was gonna leave an inheritance. Right. Okay. And he said that she got thrown out a window. So we told him like what happened. He goes, that makes so much sense why the window thing fell because that's, she was thrown out a window. And we were like, mm. that just like, 
kind of solidifies in my mind what just happened. Like, that it was kind of, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to... I, I don't know. So anyways, we went. Up, I went up to the front desk and I was checking out and it's like, yeah, so... Um, straight. Yeah, straight. The seventh floor is like, you guys put us in a scary room. Um, and there, she's like, oh my God, did like something happen? And I was like, yeah. And she was like, well, we have like a book you can write in and like we have like all these stories that happen to people and they write it down. And so I wrote down in the book. Which way? Left. And I like wrote down our little experience and like all the, the things that happened. And she was like, well, you know, the other day our cleaners were cleaning. It was just one cleaner and she was in there by herself in a room on the seventh floor or the eighth floor. I can't remember what she said. And all of a sudden, just like randomly out of nowhere, a tissue box flew at her. Just flew off the table at her. Isn't that sc I... I don't know. I don't know. I just sometimes I feel like people make stuff up, but then I'm like, that just happened to us, and I'm literally not making it up. Like, I, I'm, I, I'll put in my Snapchat of me like actually crying. Like, I was really upset because I was terrified. Like after like the first two things had happened, I was like, I can't stay here. I'm not gonna be able to sleep. Hold your camera. And just like, I, I don't know. And then I, I told my dad, and he was like, she was just she was just putting on some of your moisturizer because my moisturizer was in the floor. <laughs> and she's a woman, so, like, I mean, I guess it would make sense. So they call her the lady in white, apparently. I really want to watch that episode of Ghost Hunters now. Even though that's, I don't know, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> I just found out that it's overstated and it's haunted. <laughs> And I kid you not, we're under the we're under the room. <laughs> it's supposedly haunted. Because <laughs> someone was murdered. And the bathroom door opened. <laughs> Just randomly and then <laughs> curtain 